Louisiana Beer Reviews, Adnams Tally Ho Reserve. It says Adnam Southwold is uh, brewed in England by Adnams and bottled by Marston's. Adnams is a company that not only owns pubs and makes beer, but they also own hotels. It's a 2012 edition. So it's, this is a year old. 11.2 ounce bottle. It's a barley wine style ale. 9% alcohol. Now their typical tally ho is 7.5%. They say on the website approximately 7.5%. So this is a weird strong one. They don't even show this on their website. Uh, the Shelton Brothers uh, website might show this though. I didn't check that one out. It must not have been around too long or it must be very rare. They say it's only brewed in the winter for or available in the winter around, you know, December. On Beer Advocate it gets a good score but with only 22 ratings and on Rate Beer a 69 out of 100 a 25 out of 100 for the style, so very bad on the style with only 19 ratings. So we're talking about 41 reviews on this oddity. And I bought this at uh, Martin Wine Cellar in Metairie, Louisiana. So I was interested to try. They had a bunch of pretty high alcohol winter Christmas type beers. And when I saw this, I said, let me check it out. Now they had some more than what I bought, but those were kind of expensive. These were more reasonably priced. I think this was about $2.50 or $3 for the bottle. It might have been $3.99, but I don't think it was. got the, the uh, guy riding the horse, the fox hunter. But yeah, they don't do fox hunting in England anymore because the liberals outlawed it. Okay, had a little bit of something at the bottom, a little film. Whoa! <laughs> now that gave a little bit of a, a collar of foam. Wasn't much at all, but you get a creamy, cream colored head of foam. And the appearance is reddish brown, and there's a lot of red tint at the edges. And it is. murky. I cannot see through it. Alright, let's go with the aroma. Um, um, <laughs> it's very caramelized, caramel, sort of like thing coffee, dark brown bread, brown bread crust. You get that picture, the super maltiness. The dark fruits. Uh, maybe even some cherry. I think if this was warmer, I just took it out of the fridge, but I think if it was warmer, it really would release some more of those aromas. Now the flavor is rich and malty and quite alcoholic, sort of in a brandy wine type way. Ooh, some of that roastiness is coming out now. The roastiness, um, A little chocolatiness, some candy, sugar, nougat maybe, figs, all oh, that roast.
roastiness that that um, that um, I'm trying to think what candy it's like. Some sort of candy, like maybe the Werther's, the darker Werther's or something like that. I don't know, but it, it's very rich. <coughs> if you want to drink a beer that is super rich, super like sweet, like candy, and um, not too bitter... Now the Bigfoot Barley Wine Style Ale, which is also 9% from Sierra Nevada, that one is really bitter. It's got a high international bitterness unit. This one is not. It's mellow. It's mild. It's, it's malt oriented. Although <laughs> the Bigfoot is awesome. This one is awesome in its own little way. It's own big way, really. The body is medium to heavy, but more toward medium, I think. A little prickly. There is some decent under car under carbonation. It wasn't like up front, but it's there. You can feel it. And the finish is pretty dry, though, but not too dry. Pretty dry, rich, alcohol oriented. <laughs> I mean, you can feel it already. I've just taken a few sips, right? And I'm already feeling the warmth, like, ugh. <laughs> um, there is a film of lacing around here. This lacing is quite impressive. It's got an overall creaminess. Um, they're giving it a bad score in the style. And they're not giving it a super great score overall, 69, but 25 in the style. Maybe, yeah, maybe it doesn't really taste like barley wine. I don't know. It tastes like something, though. <laughs> Obviously, right? It tastes like, um... I don't know. But, you know, I think there's different types of barley wines. And people just uh, expect they're all going to taste a certain way. And just because the Bigfoot is that way. Audubon, I'm aging three Bigfoot bottles. Or is it? Yeah, I'm aging three Bigfoot bottles. I need to get some more of that old stock Anchor um, old stock 2013 so I can age that. I never could wait before to age stuff. I just drank it. But I'm going to try to really be strong. I'm going to be strong and I'm going to age them for years and see what they're like. only bought one bottle of this so I can't age it. But uh, Oh man, this stuff is terrific. But you may never see it. It's a limited edition, and um, I mean, we get some exotic stuff here in the New Orleans area, and even in Baton Rouge. But we get some really strange stuff that other people don't get. And even the companies, you'll get on the company's website, and it'll say not available in your state. But then there it is in the store. That's why I caution people that you want to send me beer. I'll send you this. I say okay, but I might turn around the next week and see it in the grocery store or in the beer store. And that has happened before. And then I feel bad the person paid all this money to ship it. But, uh... Oh. This is an A+. Plus. An A+. Plus. It's a sipper. I mean, the drinkability is not too high. You can't gulp this. I drank Select from Budweiser earlier. And, you know, you just go, 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 go. And that's pleasant. In its own way, that is a good beer. I'm not ripping on it. It's a different style. It, but this is exceptional. It's an outstanding beer. I'm going to give it a solid A+. Plus. It's really lovely. It's fun to drink. And But actually, that is the case for most of what I review. So uh, that doesn't really mean much. But anyway, it is fun to drink. I'm just saying it doesn't set it apart from most of what I'm usually tackling. But I would say this is more fun than normal to drink. It's so interesting. So Les Les Bon Temps Les. This is a wonderful beer. I love it. I'm going to tell you, buy and try it. You just might like it. <laughs> and fare thee well, all.
y'all come on down to Southeastern Louisiana. It's halftime. Southeastern's winning the football game in the playoffs. So I took some time here tonight. Yeah, it's not 8 in the morning. Tonight to do a beer review for you. Wow.